previously on Danganronpa. Wait, why is he holding a picture of Fukawa? Oh, I killed myself, cause I... Mr. Takami, fuck, fuck the Sheena! It's not my fault, look at those knockers. Oh my god! <laughs> Sheena's like, oh man, what the hell? I got a baby honk her right here, this fucking sucks! And now, back to the academy. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Danganronpa. We last left off, I almost died a horribly painful pancake squishing death. Thank God, Alter Ego saved me. He also saved me from a horrible alternate ending. Where I was... Where Sheena was like the freaking... I don't know, the sex slave of everybody else. Seriously, like, everybody had sex with her? That was sort of what kind of blew my mind. Like, really? I mean, it had to be, right? I mean, she had a baby that looked like Hagakure. One looked like Togami and one that looks like Nagi. Which I gotta, I'm not gonna lie, the one that looked like Nagi was, was actually pretty cute. Um, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I like to do is like it's like little like infant probably like a few months old it's got this big massive head of hair oh my god uh, <laughs> that was that was hilarious I mean it was, a, it was I don't even know if that was it's like a bad ending it was just it was kind of just a funny ending anyway so now I got thrown to a I got thrown to a garbage dump with King Gary I don't know how the fuck we're gonna get out of here so but at least we have this music to listen to <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> this music makes everything epic Super Duper High School, High School Despair. The group that caused Mancast most despairingly maleficent and monstrous modification last year. The group that pitted us against each other in this academic coliseum and broadcasted to the world. A hopelessly, haplessly terrible group of people. And the identity of the Puppet Master. After all this time, we finally got our sights on our true enemy. But first, time to make babies with Kigiri. Let's get out of this awful place, shall we? We can talk about, we can talk once we've done that. Yeah, I agree. Let's get the fuck out of this place. How are we gonna do that? Are we take? Oh, are we gonna take the rocket? Oh, is that is that what we're gonna are we gonna, like fly it out of here? Because that'd be awesome. So look, but there should be a way to open it now. Uh, what way? Hey, how do I open it? Ikigiri, oh, oh, that's right. Ikigiri, did you bring that key with you? The Monokuma secret gadget thing you stole from the headmaster's office? Of course I have it. He's fiddling or trapping the puppet puppet master. Wouldn't let it out of my sight. He said I can unlock any door in the academy, right? Yes, I can. It should work on that, that door over there too. Please. Or not? What? <laughs> click, click. Oh fuck. Here. Okay, just open the door. Come on. It's worth a shot. Slowly so slid the monokuma brain and key into, into the door's keyhole. Turned it in. Yes. Freedom. Be able to get out of here now. Let's get, let's go. Yes, let's. Tired of this place was like doo doo. Opening the one sealed door here, and I left the dump behind. Doo -doo -doo. Finally, finally, I was out, but enough time for sigh of relief. I needed a bath. <laughs> After all, the true battle was still to come. Oh, this super duper high school unluckster, or how I learned to stop despairing and embrace the end. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I guess there's gotta be one last trial then, right? Beyond the door was a space-like shaft, a, like a shaft, like a tunnel turned on its side, or maybe a large chimney. My eyes traced a path along the la along the ladder on the wall. I felt like I was at the bottom of a bo bottom of a bottomless pit. I took hold of the ladder first, began my ascent, and Kiri followed after me. <laughs> now see, now this is corpse party. You just get a big. Giant close-up of her pants. It wouldn't even be like you wouldn't even see Nagi. It would just be a big, huge close-up of her butt. But like, <laughs> what are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Camera up, game camera. Get out of there. Oh, you know, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this is really important. We gotta make sure we get really good view. Want to make sure we get every wrinkle of her panties in that shot. God, God sir, I don't know. This is <laughs> first book of shadows. No, this or shut up. <laughs> this is my dream. All right, <laughs> make my dreams come true. Sorry, sir, I think there's like, I think you should go to therapy or something. We climbed and climbed and climbed, unable to see our, our destination. After some time, we, we also lost sight of our point of origin. I had no, I no idea we were this far down. How did you fucking survive? Like, <laughs> Nagi, you, did you like, you fell upside down in a desk, landed on your head. How are you, how are you not dead? Watch your step, won't be able to catch you if you fall. Oh uh, yeah, be careful. I can see your penis from down here. <laughs> <laughs> you never hear a girl say that to a guy when it's like he's climbing the higher. It's, it's always the girl like, don't look up my panties. It's like, 
for dudes, just like, whatever, you know? I can totally see your junk. I don't care. Of course, now that I'm actually thinking about it. I should try talking about something and take my mind off it. All right, Gary, Gary, look, I'm a floating box head. There's something I wanted to ask you. It's Super Duper High School Sleuth, right? How long have you been a detective? How long? I've always been one ever since I was a child. I had these gloves. I've had these little. I've had these gloves ever since I was a kid. Since the old days, when detective work was considered far more venerable than it is today. The Gary family has made its livelihood as detectives. Now your family's pretty famous, isn't it? Actually, quite the opposite. We're relatively unknown, even amongst the same line of work. How about why? Have you got such a strong family tradition? We pride ourselves. Pride ourselves in it. Pride. Detectives remain neither. Oh, no. Detectives remain neither light nor dark. It's precisely because we are neither good nor evil that we are able to find one truth. We are obligated to maintain the neutrality, so the, for that reason we must separate ourselves from the world. Thus we deliberately keep our existence hidden away. Keep hidden? It is, it's an obsolete, old-fashioned, logical way of thinking, but despite that, we still abide by it. After all, it is our pride. Pride. Uh, I think I get it. Of course. Oh my god. Remember when I looked at my computer at the ages ago, the beginning of this fucking game. Good lord. It's like 50 hours ago. The reason I couldn't find anything about her in the new students of keep Ah, Cubic Cabana Academy thread. It's because she had kept that information hidden to uphold her family's pride. Gotcha. Okay. She was like a detective ninja. But I... I trampled on that pride. What? I sold myself out to the Cubic Cabana faculty, Academy faculty so I'd be selected for admission. Knowing full well that my actions were unworthy of a Kyogiri family detective. She was so far as to trample over her family's pride, so she could enroll in the Kibi Community Academy. And she wanted to do that because you're looking to meet your forward to meeting your dad, weren't you? I can't blame you. Looking forward to it? I have absolutely nothing to look forward to when I reunion with my father. Huh? But you haven't seen your dad in so long. Surely there's a bunch of stuff you want to talk about. I have nothing to talk to him about, but I do have something to tell him. So you you want to tell him something? Something I absolutely want to tell that man to meet to meet with him directly and tell him to his face. <laughs> You're a dick. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, that's all right. Well, I'm done. See ya. <laughs> and what's that? That I'm cutting off all all our ties. He's no longer my father. <gasps> no longer your father. And that's some of the music. <laughs> that would have been funny. Yeah. <laughs> that song always comes out right at the most. Ep the music stops for a second, and then Kigiri. It's always something Kigiri says, and it's like. Dee -dee -dee. Last time I saw that man, I was still a child, so I don't know a lot about him, other than he was apparently very intelligent. The Kigiri family had high hopes for the future with him as the next family head. But he hated being a detective, so he withdrew himself from the Kigiri family. When my mother died, he used that as an excuse to run away from home. He had a big fight with my grandfather, the head, and then he left, leaving me still young behind. Yeah, I'm sure he had a good reason. But your dad really wanted to bring you with him. In that case, I should be thankful. Thankful that he left me behind. And like that man, I actually take pride in my work as a detective. I take pr pride in the Kiyogiri family. So I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart that he didn't take take me with him. Did you just, like, go against what you just said two seconds ago? You're like, <laughs> I have pride in my family, but I also trample all over that pride so I could... Get to meet him! <laughs> uh. Contradictions! Had he, by some chance, actually taken me with him, I would not have been able to become a detective. I'm not ahead of her. I was not able to see Kigiri's face, so I had no way to know what kind of expression, what kind of emotion her, emotion her face bore. But I'm gonna guess it was pretty much nothing. <laughs> like, she, she, like, never, she never expresses any emotion. It's like, it's like from, occasionally, she, like, slightly smiles, or her face turns purple or something. <laughs> like my clothes! She said those words. All I could, all I could tell was that, as compared to usual, she was speaking more freely, perhaps more bra brazenly, 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 brazenly. Yeah, brazenly. I have no intention of blaming that man. His, his life is his to live, and I'm sure it sounds like I'm being dismissive, but that's honestly how I feel. It's just one thing, just one thing that I can never forgive him for. And what's that? The way people looked at me. I felt no sorrow at having been left behind. Rather, I thought I was better off for it. The people, the people didn't see me like that. I was thought I was always thought of as the girl who was abandoned by her father, and that's so how they all looked at me. I'm sick and tired of, uh, and tired of it. I'm fed up with having my past, that man's shadow always hanging over me. I want to cut him out of my life once and for all. That's why I have to tell him, tell him to his face that I'm cutting all ties, so I can clear the books for on our past, so I can remove that man from my life. Could just send him an email or something, you know. 
Of course, he's probably forgotten all about me by now. <laughs> I have a daughter? What the hell? Good lord, you're like purple, don't you? But your family isn't severing religious a bit much. He and I simply share the same blood, nothing more. We may be connected by blood, but our hearts are disconnected. Can you really call that family? Connected by blood, but their hearts are disconnected. She'd been so sure, uh, so firm in saying that, I couldn't think of any way to respond. So I could do nothing but keep my mouth shut. Damn it, Nagi, did you just fart? No. You did! Oh, that's it, I'm killing you! She grabs him by the foot and drags me. No! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Continue climbing in silence. After some time, we finally arrived. Ooh, yeah! So this is the end. We could be in the academies on the other side of that door. We've returned. You remember the door in the dormitory's trash room floor? That should be where we come out. I'm locked the door ahead of time, so there shouldn't be any problems open. Yeah, give it a shot. Press my right hand up against the door and above my head and I pushed. Sweet freedom! A little resistance the door opened, then <laughs> spinning non monokumika flying out. <laughs> when all of a sudden <laughs> It's Danny, boo! We've, re We've returned. That was an unbelievably long, la long ladder. I'm exhausted. So now we made it back. Whether you could say we we were unharmed was another issue altogether. But we're here in Kibikibin Academy. Thank you, Kigiri. You saved my life. <laughs> Even if you did, leave me to <laughs> if you did leave me to die in the first place. Don't need to thank me. I'm just just repaying the favor. Uh, oh, wait. Am I so am I on the? Oh. oh! Oh, 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 that's right. I remember that. I remember that little door now. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. And what am I gonna do after I step out this door? Talk to. Oh, come on! Just go, dude. Maybe you gotta pee or something. So, what do we do from here? I managed to dodge one bullet, and that's great and all, but if the puppet master finds me, it's just me who's in danger, but you too, since you saved me. How are you worried? <laughs> well, well, yeah. And how about we ask him directly? Huh? Yeah? Monokuma, ask him whether your escaping is a problem. <laughs> but, I don't know. See, he was like... <laughs> he was trying to smash me into pancakes, sir. And I'm not sure if I really want to look him in the face right now. It's just a matter of time before you're found. It's not like there's any way to run anyway. She spoke here he points directly at the security camera. Oh, I see you! Oh, that little bastard! I'll teach him to mess up my breakfast! I was looking forward to nugget pancakes! So you're saying if my only the only option is to is to wait to be caught, then I better off just surrendering. Don't worry, things won't end up the way you're afraid they will. After all, it's Puppet Master has been driven to a corner, not us. Puppet Master been driven to a corner. You said that before, but what do you mean? By holding Makura's Ikasaba's trial, the Puppet Master revealed his hand, and that's something we can take advantage of. Something we can take advantage of. You'll see when we talk to Monokuma. Also, it's to your benefit to ask first before you're discovered. If you, want it, if you want any advantage we can get for this negotiation? I'm a little, I'm a little bit, no, I'm more than a little bit nervous, but we got no choice, do we? Monokuma should be in the gymnasium. Let's go, shall we? Dude, can we just call him? He always comes running. Hey, Monokuma, I'm alive. What the, what the fuck? What the freaking noodle nuggets? What are you doing here, doggy? I don't know. Didn't feel like dying that day. Oh, you're gonna get it! You're gonna get it! <laughs> it's probably gonna be pretty pissed. I get Kiri! Why is the, the shut of an executed husband nugging here with you? Guess I didn't see that reaction coming. What the brody pebbles? <laughs> Am I really gonna be okay? Did you perhaps save him? And after all the trouble with you preparing his punishment, seriously, you have any idea how long it took me to get that fucking massive machine crusher in there to get a freaking conveyor belt to move his desk perfectly and have a have a freaking blackboard up there perfectly balanced? I mean, I had to also I had to look up the human reproduction system to talk about sperm on the board. What if I did? If the villain is correctly identified during the class trial, he or Lou will be punished. Sorry to say, but those are the rules. <laughs> So I'm just a push you again this time, I'll make sure it works! Uh, Kigiri! <laughs> oh god, he's get, he's got a gun! 
Hello, my little friend. And the little gun, the gun starts talking to. Oh, I'm his little friend. <laughs> Shut up, guns. You do. I'll do the talking. You do the murdering. No, oh, okay, Monica. Oh. <laughs> If that's what you want to do, go right ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Before you do, let me say one, one, one thing. If you execute Nagi, then you lose. Are you okay with that? Huh? Me? Lose? Hey! What the hell is that supposed to mean? That class trial was just a big setup, wasn't it? So you could smoke me out and kill me. In other words, had things gone according to plan, it would have been me executed there. Oh, hold on. What are you saying? Your expectations were blown off, way off track because Nagi let me, let, let my life slip through unnoticed. Did, you didn't see that coming. It didn't even cross your mind that in that situation someone would stand up for someone else. In response to that unexpected turn of events, just called Nagi the villain and execute him. And you were, you were desperate. No, it was more than desperation. You felt threatened by Nagi because he didn't want to do what you expected him to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That wasn't the only surprise when you that class trial. Someone interfered with Nog's execution. Alter ego. You miscalculated. You didn't consider that someone who was already dead would save someone else. And that is the truth. It wasn't Nagi who murdered Mercury Kasaba. It was you. And yet for you to execute Nagi in spite of that, isn't that a violation of the rules you so adore? Correct me if I'm wrong, but the villain is only supposed to be executed if he's identified correctly. Huh? And that means I lose? Oh, let, let, let me get this straight. You're saying the real villain is me, not Nagi. Well, where's your evidence? I don't have one. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't scare sure could it. Is this your idea of a joke? How can you talk to me like a big shot, David? I've never seen back it up. Huh? How can you tell me I'm, I'm a bear? <laughs> I've got a lightning bolt in my face. I don't talk. I, I don't have any now. But with a little more time, I'll be able to find everything I need. Uh, so I was right. We're totally gonna do this. It's gonna be a uh, a trial where we, because so, he is, he's forced to obey his own rules. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna basically get him in his own game, I guess, right? As much as you try to hide it, there's only one truth. What's your deal? Now you're pilfering catchphrases from super detectives. That's not fair. <laughs> Doggy really did kill him, didn't he? But he wouldn't have come to you like this. He'd have gone to hiding, trembling under the weight of his sins, cowering in fear of his punishment. Riding away in your precious despair. But we're here, standing up to you. We haven't lost hope. You trying to say that counts in place of evidence? You think that's enough to satisfy me? You're right, that wouldn't satisfy you, but... It's the same for the people watching this. Executing Nagi now will not satisfy them. What? <laughs> <laughs> people watching this show are like, Oh yeah, I love that song. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody else knows how I know what's happening. Where, where's that music coming from? That, that's my jam, baby. Yeah, that's Kirigiri's jam. <laughs> what the hell? Where's my theme music? Damn it! <laughs> Stop it! Yes, you Nagi, right now. This is what this is what the people that watch him will think. They'll think that you forced me to execute Nagi because everything he said so was right. They'll think that hope cannot be killed with despair. Oh no! What the? Oh. <laughs> No, and your ratings will plummet. No, not my ratings. Oh no, I'm the number one most watched murder channel. <laughs> oh man, oh all those, <laughs> oh my beautiful fan base. If your stance is, is, is that what we're saying is baseless, then you have just to have to prove it, right? No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you execute Nagi while his guilt is still in question, then you're admitting defeat. Oh, you little bird! If you want to experience the despair fairly and proportionally, then you will accept my proposition. You must accept it. Oh. So what is it, this proposition of yours? When we retry the Mercury Kasaba's murder case, and that this time you hold a fair class trial abiding by the class rules. Class rules. Let's just be our final battle, the final battle between hope and despair. <laughs> dear, dear, hope and despair. <laughs> now you whoops at a microphone. Yeah, yeah. It's time to break it down, and it's time in the battle, battles go down, going down, and when I pop my cool on two time, do 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 Noggy, Noggy, just, just stop, Noggy. <laughs> God dang it, what is, Noggy, what, you just carry that microphone around with you, and just wait to sing, and start singing something? Sorry, I'm sorry, just seemed fair, seemed, <laughs> seemed necessary, alright. What do you think for climax, don't you think? 
Fair class trial, the final bout, in other words. A trial to reveal the Puppet Master's identity. The Puppet Master has no reason to accept a challenge like that. I'm sure he'll just get rid of me, no questions asked. Oh, man, you're good! I really want those good ratings! Don't, don't, I'm drinking! Barry, I'm drinking! <laughs> Barry? My god, that's not what I expected him to say. I'm trying a new personality! I can bear the old one any longer! Anyway, that's not a very bad idea! It's a pretty fitting climax, so I'll give you that! So you accept. If I do, will that satisfy you, Lord in the air and the viewers? If you're satisfied, will you despair for me? If you will, then honey, show me! Show me where to... to show me where to your... Your... Your side? Ursine? Show me where to Ursine? What does that mean? <laughs> They said, show me, show me where to urine. Wait, what? We don't have a pee pee. Where am I gonna? How am I gonna do this? Will you, will you lot and your hope went out? Or will you, will, you, will me and my despair take the ground? A veritable battle battle, a real goody up moment. <laughs> he accepted. That means there's still a chance. Oh, resist this is, this is the climax. It would be pretty boring if you all had to do who was find the culprit. So, it might get beginning of a final conflict. You let me to bear, lay bare all of the mysteries! All the mysteries? Every single mystery buried in the got God, I am just on a freaking roll of these freaking puns, baby! You managed to solve all of them, and I'll call it You Let's Victory! That's what I was planning on doing from the very beginning. The Nectic Scarlet! If you look and uncover my current guess I'll murder, how the crime is committed, and on top of that, solve the Academy of Mysteries, then I'll admit defeat! Oh, yeah, that's. God, are you kidding me? Well, when the polar opposite happens, we'll all be executed, right? D oh, I can barely get to the excitement. Oh, man. Can you imagine? What is that, like, six people? Holy shit! I kill everybody at once? Oh, dude. I'm going to make everyone. Okay, I already got a plan out. I'm going to make everyone dress like zombies. I'm going to go on a freaking murder rampage. It's going to be like Left 4 Dead. And there's going to be like three other players. And we're going to be fighting zombies. It's gonna be awesome! I'm gonna- I'm gonna be wrecked from walking down. I'm gonna get my own little cowboy hat. When you learn the grizzly truth, what guy just walk out of spirit will you not show me? We're the ones who should be excited. When we reveal everything, just how much despair will Super Duper High School despair be in? I feel like I just witnessed the start of something outrageous. First, I'd like to clarify something. You said before that the class trials are, he are held when murders are committed along among the students, right? Oh, yeah, whatever! I'd like to confirm that there are no inac inaccuracies in that statement. Dee! Oh, there's no need to try to pry it out of me. I'm an habitual counter bear. Everything that's happened has all been in accordance with the school rules. When it comes to the saying, Makurikisaba's trial, class trial is no exception. Huh? Makurikisaba's Makuri class trial is no exception. It's held in accordance with the school rules. That means the person who killed her is one of us. Okay, it can't be one of it can't be one of us though, right? It's someone who's maybe it's someone who's already dead? Or maybe someone maybe someone didn't really die. Uh <laughs> Awada isn't uh didn't really turn into butter. <laughs> Dude, well, actually while we're at it, I'll give you a word. Sure, I've mentioned this before, but there are total sixteen participants, all of whom are students in this academic conversation. Also, since the Coliseum commenced operation, the only living humans to sit from the Academy are those very same existing students. What? Is that the truth? I saw him a treatment all of a sudden. No! This conversation is over! I got two left to talk to you guys about! I'm gonna go pick myself a martini! Now scrap! Now he's angry. Maybe he was, well, has a borderline personality disorder. Shit! I'm getting lost! Get ah! Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just. It's my time in the month, okay, you know? And wait a minute, is it my time? Does that mean I'm a girl bear? Wait, but I don't, I don't understand, I don't have any, I don't have any hoo-hoo's here! There's nothing here! No, no, I'm sad again! Oh, God! I need a margarita! Alright, we're going, going. You sure I can go? What well, yeah, is? it doesn't matter. You're all gonna get punched later either way! So I'm here something very despairingly special for you guys! Let's go, Nagi. All right. <coughs> oh, you know, it's just—it's not easy to laugh like that. Just 
trying to be evil and uh, her. You, you guys just leave the room so I can stop laughing. Oh god, they're gone. Oh. <laughs> Max turned to Monkuma. Creepy's unstable laughter. Here and I left the gym. That's gotta be it, right? Because it's okay. It's not what we learned that it wasn't. It, there's no way it could be any of the other four aside from Kigiri and uh, Nagi. We know it's not Nagi. Um, and it's not Kigiri. So it's, it's the only re explanation is it's gotta be someone who's already we think it we thought was dead, but it's not or something. I really don't know what just happened. I didn't get executed. I'm not dead somehow. I really didn't expect that to work. Now I've got another reason to be thankful to Kigiri. Thanks, Kigiri. It's all because of you. It's too early to start celebrating. The real battle is still to come. Yeah, I know. But even so, I'm just as relieved as you are. Thank goodness he accepted my proposition. Why do you think he did anyway? What was the Puppet Master game from accepting your challenge? He had no choice. What? That's what I was talking about when I said we had an advantage. So, Ian, what was that advantage? I didn't hear firsthand, but the Puppet Master said that everything that happens here is being broadcast live nationwide over hijack broadcast signals, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Hi, world! What did you think when you heard that? It was pretty hard to believe, wasn't it? Well, yeah, him hijacking the broadcast signals it seems almost unreal. Dude, we've been here for like weeks. This is like. <laughs> Freaking. President of the United States is like, oh god, I love this show. Sir, I believe that those are actually real students, and I really think they're trapped in that school. What are you talking about? This is my favorite program. I'm not gonna go stop it. <laughs> Sir, they could all die. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Pour me another martini. Monokuma. Yes, sir! <laughs> my Vice President Monokuma. Yes, sir! <laughs> it seems unreal because it's something that doesn't happen very often, because it's just that difficult. But the Pen Master pulled it off. Turning that around, it means he had some reason that he needed to do it, despite how difficult it was. The reason? No matter what the cost, he wanted to put us killing each other on, on display for the world to see. He put us on display killing each other. The Pen Master didn't just want us dead. He was determined to make us make us kill each other. He most likely established the school rules expressly for that purpose. You're right. If those rules didn't exist, nobody would have killed anyone. Basically, the Puppet Master's objective was to make us kill each other and show that, that to the world. But to what end? Unlikely as proof. Proof? Do you know what Kibikabini Academy students are referred to by the general population? Hope, right? By plunging us hope into despair and driving us to kill each other. And then put that on display for the world, he wanted us to prove that despair prevails over hope. That's the Puppet Master's goal, super duper high school despair's goal. Uh? Prove that despair prevail prevails over hope. Offer something so stupid. <laughs> Shut up! It's not stupid. Shut up! <laughs> you made me sad again. Ah! Stupid and is logical, but it's certainly something the group called Super Duper High School Despair will come up with. People act purely for the sake of despair. I think people suffer for something that like that. I understand wanting to get angry, but because of that reason that our advantage was born. What? Yeah, it's also for that reason that we're here to begin with. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> because Puppet Master wanted to show us, wanted to show us killing each other to the world. He's even more strict than necessary by up upholding the rules he established. Had he forced action, ignoring the rules, this would no longer be a coliseum but a slaughterhouse. Thing is, like, so I guess he must be determining exactly what camera feed is showing on the TV. Because I mean, wouldn't like if it wouldn't be showing like all the camera feeds on on the broadcast network, right? So it wouldn't... Because if, if that were the case, then people would know ahead of time, oh, this person killed this person or broke the rules or whatever, you know? Um, I guess so. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if we're actually we're going to see at any point what, like, what this TV show looks like to people on the outside. Like, <laughs> Monica is like a little announcer. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I know why they just rocked for you, Fujisaki with a dumb mouth. Did you see that shit? Holy bulls, right in the face, boom! <laughs> boom! Oh my god, he's got a penis! Who saw that coming? Not me! <laughs> At the very least. At the very least, that's how it appeared for the, to the people watching. So that's why he couldn't kill himself. That's the reason he couldn't kill him, kill me, uh, couldn't kill me with his own hands. As much as I was a thorn in his side, I wasn't actually breaking the rules. So he couldn't step in and intervene directly like he did with Inishima. 
Uh, I'm a little. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I was, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, but she, okay. And she actually did break the rules. Uh, she attacked the headmaster or whatever. So now, okay, never mind. I was a little bit confused. I was like, wait, why? Why would they kill her, but but then not kill Kier? Okay, yeah. She broke the rules and Kier did. Okay. Jim attempted to kill me using that class trial, so it appears though he was upholding the rules. There's no correct answer, just a setup to make me into the culprit. But he failed. Well, thanks to you. From that failure, here was gaining a bigger advantage. I tried to execute you, even though you were innocent. Since his failure was revealed on live television, he had no... He had no choice but to accept your proposal? To prove to the world that despair prevails over hope, he needs to completely and utterly defeat us. So the revelation of the Puppet Master having violated his own rules is a mark against him. And use that against him to accept, get him to accept his challenge. Okay, I feel like we're kind of beating this shit. I get it. All right, he wants to despair. He used that, and that's why. So that's why he did it. So that's why he did it. So that's. So you're telling me? Wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that that is why? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, he's just he's he's asking that question too many. Yes. So you put that hole in his defenses. We're finally walking his road now because you believed in me. I can't believe you figured all that out. I hadn't noticed anything. No, I just reasoned it out without any solid proof and took a chance on that reason. Thankfully, it appears I was right. After she said that, she let a deep breath, like a weight had been lifted from her shoulders. Quite frankly, I've been, I've been that nervous. I haven't been that nervous in a while. That's not how it looked to me. <laughs> I don't expect mo express emotion well, alright? Shut up. Before you let to find Monokuma, you're looking like you're brimming with confidence. It's one of the fundamentals of negotiation. You need to be strong and sure of yourself. Besides, if I looked anx anxious, it would just have made you even more so. It's probably right about that. It's pitiful as it, it's pitiful as it makes me. <laughs> we can't just sit here clamoring about how happy we are forever. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Doing the naggy happiness. <laughs> all you team now is a chance to continue fighting. If we don't win here, then we'll all have all been for nothing. Yeah, that's true. That's right. If we don't beat the puppet master here, we can't make it out of here alive. Waiting. It's our only option. Before we begin our final investigation, we need to begin bring the others up to speed. We know who our enemy is now. It's all such for the everyone to work together and hunt down the puppet master. Also, I gotta go smack everyone for fucking <laughs> choosing to execute me, you sons of bitches. Sheena, why? I loved you. Sorry, Nagi, but you know, <laughs> I love Tigami now. Yes, that's right. She's into me now. Fuck off, Nagi. No! <laughs> I really am the unluxer. Seriously, why? <laughs> Such a horrible turn of events. If we're working together, will it really be that easy? Huh? Anyway, we need to find everyone else. Let's go. I'm sure they're somewhere in the dorms. Alright. Let's go find... Let's go find the freaking dude. Oh, here we go. We put the cafeteria when Kiger and I arrived was... Slash EXP! What the hell is that? Is that really supposed to say that? DS slash... slash EXP. You again. <laughs> I was like, I thought, since this game is a fan translation, I thought something had broke. I was like, uh oh. Uh, is he. Uh oh. I think we broke the game. Is it broken? Being unstable is one thing, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> and he's gone. Martini, blah, 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 Wonder what that was about. Barely time to let us sigh before. What? <gasps> no, no, no. Speaking of giant boobs. No, is that really you? Oh man, I thought you'd been murdered horribly. Cause I voted for you to die. Oh, good, good guys. Really use you? I can't believe my boobs. It's Nagi. Oh, you're alive. Great. I swear you're as resilient as a damn cockroach. Just to be sure you're not a ghost, are you? Ooh, yes, I'm a ghost, are you? Ah, get away from me, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd be like, I just fuck with hardcore. There's everyone, my friends, my companions. Uh, then I'd grab Ashina and we made, we made babies. Three, ma three babies. 
People had fell, fell alongside. Moments I saw everyone's faces. My eyes got a little misty. <laughs> I love you guys even though you love me to die. <laughs> Wait, what's that stench? Oh, damn dude, that's rank. Oh, that's right. It's been the last, like, few days in a trash can. It's Nugget. Nugget smells like a wet dog. Go stand over there. Shoo, shoo. Whatever, you're one to talk. You haven't bathed it since we got here. <laughs> With that, the tears receded. <laughs> they got sucked back up in his eyes. Hey, what's up? Hey, Sheena. Oh, no, I didn't want to... There's absolutely no reason to go in the kitchen now. Like how he said that. Hey, Sheena, where you guys in... Where were you guys before you got here? We thought since Mark McCurry and Kasaba's class trial was over, there might be some place new to go. And? Nope, no good. Every place that was locked, still locked. Or new to go, and I mean, so we just gather. How we, then? Where we just gather new information? We have to say, douchebag. It's good to see you, you <laughs> fucking ass. It's a wonder you made it out there alive. Yeah, I can hard to believe it either. You do understand why you managed to avoid getting flattened, don't you? Because of alter ego, right? You saved my life. There aren't many people who can say they've had their lives saved by a computer program. <laughs> That's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that I hope one day to experience. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Monokuma, we don't have time to turn this into a heartfelt reunion right now. Can you tell everyone what happened with Monokuma? Monokuma, what about him? By the way, are you gonna be alright, Nox? You're kind of, you're a fugitive now and be better book master found you. That too has to do with what we need to tell everyone. What we need to tell you has to do with the final class trial. Final class trial? We're retrying Makuri Kasapa's murder case. Oh, we're retrying it? Oh, great. <laughs> If I if I die again this time, I will fucking haunt you, all of you. <laughs> Were you dying once or a thousand times, dude? Nog still did it, didn't he? <laughs> Shut up, Hagakure. God, you're stupid. Hey, I bet we just kill Hagakure and then claw that the final class trial. <laughs> no, I'm going with that. I, I don't even care, actually. You guys just kill him and then go free. If you kill if you kill Hagakure, Hagakure, anyone, you can just walk right out of here. Every, everybody, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> what? What did I do? For, this is for a living too long! Ah, no, dude! As we were saying, it wasn't me, you stupid idiot. I think those dreads are cutting off the circulation to his brain. Nagi did not murder her. Of course, he needed to die, nor did any of you. Then, uh, who did? What's the puppet master's doing? I'm serious, like the puppet master killed my girl, because I'm a. Yes, it was an elaborate trap laid up by the puppet master. Nagi discovered that trap, and he tried to prevent it from going off. Because of that, it was since he was sentenced to execution. Nagi discovered the trap, you say? I wasn't nearly as conscious of as, as you're making me out to be, but that's cool. Y y hell yeah. <laughs> no, no, how could you have noticed and I did not? No! <laughs> shut up, Tagami. No, you shut up, bitch. However, the act of executing Nagi, who is not the culprit, is a blatant violation of the rules. The school rule says the villain will be executed. In other words, the puppet master broke his own rules. So we negotiated with him. Asked him to grant us a retrial. And he did? Just because we bro he broke a rule he wrote himself? He had no choice but to agree. He used to use the broadcasting secret. Excuse me. Broadcast signal hijacking against him, didn't you? We're on the same wavelength, I see. You mentioned something at the end of the last class trial. When you said the puppet master has been cornered, this is, this is what you meant, isn't it? Hey, you're leaving me in the dust here, dude! You can't keep up, then ask King Gear if someone asks anything to you later. So then, uh, what are we supposed to do now? We just need to show that- Show that was a puppet master for killing Curry and Sabo, right? Surely that's not all, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I give us an hour to win this job, and he also needs to solve all the guys' mysteries, too. All the guys' mysteries? Like what? The, like what year it was built, and what flavor- Favorite flavor ice cream it has, and- Me and stuff we've been all this time, and we still haven't learned hardly anything about? Probably all, we probably all suspect as much already, but if we lose, we'll all be executed. We'll all be executed, dude! Oh, God! Hold on, don't you go around making challenges like that without our consent! I'm perfectly fine with the way things are! As long as my white knight is here with me! Then fuck all of you! And I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible and away from you, you smelly bitch. Anyway, our only chance of surviving is to uncover the truth. Which is saying that it's the deciding battle, but an interesting development. 
but we gotta do that until I figure out who the Puppet Master is and how I can fit it to me as a murder. Oh, our plane just keeps getting bigger and bigger, dude. But hey, unlike the other glass trails we've had, we've had to you know exactly who our enemy is this time. So if we all work together, as we can figure this shit out. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> wow, way to take the fucking wind red on my sails. Oh? Huh? Personally, I cannot concur with, concur with the proposal that everyone, everyone worked together. Uh, why not? We're obviously better off working together if we want to solve the cabin mysteries. I, of course, did the same thing. Until Monokuma said... He said... What? Hey, remember me? Do you actually want to write it? I'll give you one more hint. I'm sure I mentioned this before. There are a total of 16 participants, all of whom are students in the Sky Academic Coliseum. Well, since the Coliseum commenced operation, the only living human set foot in the Academy are those very same 16 students. I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't really understand. What, I don't know what that means. Like, so we did he build like a new academy? I mean, this. So I don't, I don't know. Let's see. If that's what Monokuma says, then Kyuga is exactly right. Huh? Why? Assuming as Kyuga has said, it was the puppet master who killed Makuri Kasaba. That means he's inside. He's inside. Could be. Kyuga could be in an academy. The murder is one thing, but tampering with the crime scene to that ex to the to that ex to that extent with the Monokuma is not impossible. However, based on what Monokuma said, are the only living humans to sit foot in the academy are the 16 students participating in this academic coliseum. Then the puppet master's identity. There are 15 students in the entrance hall on the first day. Uh, at McCurry Kasaba, you got 16. So, he's one of these those 16. Furthermore, of those 16, only six of us are still alive. I believe you can figure the rest of them out from there. You mean one of us is the Puppet Master? I don't... I don't believe that. I mean, that wouldn't make sense, because everyone else had an alibi. It wasn't Kiyoguri or Nagi. It's got to be one of the people we thought was dead is still alive. But who, who would that be? Like, I'm trying to think, like... Ooh, is there something... Was there... Everyone who died was... Okay, was murdered. Junko was the only one that was killed by Monokuma, though. So, would it be like her? Everyone else was was killed within, like, the, the game itself, but then Junko died because she was killed by Monokuma. Maybe that was... I don't know. Maybe maybe that's why she was killed that way, because... I, I don't know. Maybe. I, don't know, I can't really imagine her being, like, the bad guy, though. I don't mean bad guy. But, uh, whatever. What else? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's water. <laughs> yeah, back from the dead, bitches. No way. Hold on, we can't be certain of that just yet. Mongo just said this could have just said that to freak us out. That is possible, yes, but it's only one of many possibilities. Same as the possibility of the Puppetmaster being in this room. So as long as the possibility exists, we cannot be ruled out. I agree. When the title of Super High School Sphere came to light, it became pretty clear. The Puppetmaster was a student. We can't deny that he could be among us. We're right now. Hey, do you, hey, 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 Fukawa, do you have like a third, a third personality? Maybe it's you. What if one of us really is what's the master? Then they would have have to control Monokuma too. Yet in all the times Monokuma's shown up, no one's ever acted that suspicious, have they? I could have just stopped him, snuck away, and done it. One of us would have noticed some, no someone sneaking away for so many times, unless they were like a ninja, super high school ninja. <laughs> the Monokuma's completely automatic, dude. Everything he says is, and he d and does is all pre-programmed. If that were the case, we wouldn't be able to hold such natural sounding conversations. If something we're able to guide her through the conversation is certainly not impossible. Sure, I guess, but let's be honest. <laughs> hey, bitches, you better hurry up! Oh boy, this is my last martini! Oh, it's sad, isn't it? Oh, everybody go, oh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go, I know, it's so sad, but. Oh, but it all has to come around eventually! Oh. Oh, what am I, who am I kidding? I'm gonna have three more after this. Man, we're in a blaze! I expect you guys are, since you're already aware, our Kakadama Coliseum is rapidly entering its final chapter, where it will all be revealed. In the spirit of fairness, I've had no locks in the building. It makes the case much as you like, so, mysteries, your heart gets content. Oh, alright, sweet. Boom, boom, see you in the cross trail! How very chance of unlocking every door. The time for chat chat is over, now we investigate. But, I was planning to work by myself regardless. 
It's late in the game. All I can rely on is myself. And the Tagami blood coursing through my balls. I mean, my veins. You shouldn't concern yourself with others, either. Just do what you need to do. Fare thee well. <laughs> Alright, see ya. See ya, dickweed. Having said that, Tagami quickly disappeared. Oh, my white knight! He didn't take me with him! Of course he didn't, dude. But I'm not letting it around. You're all like a cappuccino with neither coffee nor milk. In other words, worthless to me. <laughs> so goodbye. I'm gonna go masturbate in my room to pictures of my white knight. <laughs> okay, see you later, you weirdo. Well, that forgot what to do. Slither out of the capture. <laughs> slither. <laughs> slither. I got my big massive roll of tongue out. Oh, well, there she goes. You plan to fly solo too, Gary? Yes. Which means just dogs here on our left. Alright, then, then going alone is the best option. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You were just watching me and my crystal ball are gonna blow the lid off this whole thing. <laughs> uh, just like I've done for this whole, whole fucking game. All of my, uh, all of my assertions have all been totally true. I carry the most helpful and useful person in this game. Our great bellowing laughter filled the room and slowly faded as it left the cafeteria. Oh, everyone's really going up by themselves. Well, I guess it means it's you and I. Yeah, you and I. All right, it's, all right. I know we both been thinking it. Let's go in that. Let's go in that bag in that kitchen and make some babies. All right, let's do it, Nagi. Come on. What are you gonna do, Sheena? Hmm. I guess I'll see what I can do on my own too. No. Don't get me wrong. It's not because I don't trust everyone, you know. Just I've been. I'm really. I've never really been any help before. <laughs> I always lie on Sakura and everyone else. You've been no help. That's not true at all. You've been the boobs of this fucking group, all right? Nobody can have boobs like that. Nobody. Look at Fukala. Look at Kira. No. No one has boobs like that. Oh man, you really mean that, Doggy? You're damn right I do. Come here. Let's give me, give give me a hug. Oh, Doggy, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I, I love you too, boobs. I mean, Ashina. I mean, boobs. <laughs> been a huge help. Doggy. Oh, you do, God. It's true that I haven't been very useful. At the very least, I want to try my best to find something of value now while I have the chance. So I'm gonna go alone too. I said that. I'll catch you later. She had, she had dashed out of the cafeteria, and the other one's left. Just me and you again. Yes, indeed. You're investigating alone too, aren't you? Don't misunderstand me. Just because we're investigating independently doesn't mean I'm not going to share any information with you. That's not true, and I'm sure the others feel the same way. Yeah, she's right. But did I did not use that last one? Oh, whatever. So maybe we aren't we're not all investigating together, but that doesn't mean we can't cooperate. Just need to think of it as a division of labor. And for this, we're just gonna pull our results. Yeah, that works. <laughs> right, I should get going too. I have a lot to like to look into. I'm well, coming to open all locks in the building. Which should say the entire academy should be open to investigation. Let's go to the places we haven't been to before. Let's reveal the truth, Maki. No matter what. Thank you, you're too left cafeteria. Now it's the only one left. Not enough time to laze around. I gotta get started. Just couldn't let believe the pub, the pub master was one of us. So I decided I'd prove that wrong. I'll cover, cover the pub master's true real identity. Solve the academy's mysteries. Get get out of here with everyone. I okay. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be someone we thought was dead. That's got that's gotta be who it is. But I I don't know. The only one that stands out to me is Junko because she wasn't killed within the game. So, but I don't. I, I can't really imagine it beating her. I don't know. It just be kind of like it seems sort of out of left field, you know. But maybe that's the point. Okay, first I should go back over the amount of file about McCurry Kasama's murder. As a result, severe damage caused by an explosion that didn't cease to unknown. The explosion occurred for mortem. The suffered a single knife wound to the abdomen, extending to the back of the body. There are signs of trauma visible on the back of the deceased's head, which appear to have been caused by a strike from a cylindrical object approximately the same diameter as an iron pipe. We already know, I mean, we, I feel like we already still know quite a bit of the details, though. I mean, we got most of the details down about the death. Additionally, there are numerous wounds visible in multiple locations on the deceased's body. However, these wounds were not occurring in the last few days, but at some earlier time. The person who killed Kubiki Makuri Kusaba, they are the puppet master. If we want to figure out what really happened, first I should investigate. The rooms have been, they have been locked, we should be able to see until now. That would be the headmaster's office, bio biology lab, the Monokuma door, and the data processing room. The second floor with the dormitory, right? The show should be open now, too. Beyond that, I should also reinvestigate areas directly connected to the murders. We can't have guard in the dojo. Alright, let's, let's go! All right. Well, let's go. I'm gonna go to the the second floor first. So that's right here. I'm rather curious. What's up here anyway? 
Joe's been raised. Long last, we finally got to the second floor. And that means, gotta yeah, check it out. Whoa! This is the second floor? It's like I just stepped into some ruins. No, it's more like I just stepped into a battlefield. This is the place we bombed. It was like the place was bombed or something. Jesus, really. Whoa! Hello, blood. Wow, we got the blood going back up. Back dog red again, don't we? Apparently there's only one room I can go into. Jeez. Someone on a freaking rampage. It seems kind of weird, doesn't it? That like, I don't know, like the, the this blood is, you know, dark red. Like, it's like old blood is okay if it's dark red, but new blood can't be that. It must be hot pink. I don't know, it seems strangely inconsistent. Bedders and tatters. No, we didn't call it a bed anymore. So it's oversized like, garbage. Oh, so for this money here! Oh, Nuggy, what the hell? You haven't even spent your Monokuma coins yet? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Do I even need them anymore, to be honest? You always need Monokuma coins, Nuggy! Don't you ever forget it. They're the most important thing in this whole game! I don't know. Pretty sure I'm not going to be bonding with anyone anymore. Peek through a crack in the door and quickly shut again. There's no signs of it having... Of it having ever been a shower, it's just a pile of rubble. What? That's it? Isn't there any in here? I was like moonwalking there, like. What the hell is it? There's a draft. <laughs> it's a picture of a draft book and his head out the locker. No. This appears to be a locker room. These lockers must have, must have been used by the students who came before us. Oh my God! Are you serious? Have fun examining every last one of these! Jesus. How are you slide with this lock? Locker is not opening ever. So it could be opened. Damn, it's locked. There's a carburetor just above the handle. This can probably controls the lock. You know, this reminds me of the carburetors outside the pool changing room. So I recall those carburetors are activated by our electric IDs. So maybe this one does too. No, I'm trying. I pull out my electric ID and I place it over the carburetor and then. Nope, no such luck. Probably works for the owner's electricity, so ours aren't going to do any good. Alright. Okay, so there's gotta be something in this room, right? I mean, right? <laughs> Ooh! Dude, nice pad, man. Doesn't look, look much like a student's room. This it feels more sophisticated. This is the headmaster's bedroom. Whoa! <laughs> you pulled a Monokuma on me there, Kigari. What are you doing here? I took a fine Yakuza tooth comb to this room once already, but something's still nagging at me. I just want to give it one more good run over. I'm saying it's nag nagging at her. Gonna be this plant over here. Oh, how about that secret door that's obviously there? There's a crack in the wall here. I'm mistaken the design or screw up in the construction? I don't think so. It's not just a crack, there's air flowing from the other side. Here. It's almost certainly an open space on the other side of that wall. Open space, like a hidden room. I have, an I have an idea of how to open the door. Did you figure out how to open the door? Is there some kind of mechanism or something? It's a very simple mechanism. Actually, actually I would hesitate to even call it that. It's a program on the computer over there. It looks, looks like it does it. The door should open if you give it the correct password. In, however, I haven't the faintest point idea what it could be. All, all I know is that you can only input letters and numbers. Beyond that, I'm stuck. I'll have to go off of the... Huh? I dug through some of the personal files on the computer and tried a number of things, but no such luck. I just learned far more about that man than I ever wanted to know. It's a complete waste of time. <laughs> Found lots and lots of porn. Computer on the desk. Looks like he's powered on. Seems that man did a lot of research into the super duper high school despair. The data he collected is still on this computer. Oh, so there's information here? It's not very impressive information, it's simply what I told you before. Super Duper High School Despair is not a person, but a group. They caused the Magkai's most despairingly maleficent and monstrous malification last year, and that they that they're despicable and depraved and act purely for despair's sake. That's it, like I said, not terribly impressive. Though I guess that's all I can, all I can reasonably expect of the Kirikiri family dropout. But hey, it's information about the Pump Master, even, even that, just this much is a big help. I, for one, am thankful to him for leaving it here for us. I see. Well, then I'm glad for that. Super Duper High School Despair. Dude, wait, well, how many are there? I thought it was only what? I thought it was only two people. Hidden room, huh? 
Like Spur says, it's really like that with a nag at her. I can think many of a place more likely to have clues than a hidden room in the headmaster's office. In her, in her case, that might not be the only reason. Once we see in that room, we gotta figure out what the password is first. If we do that, we couldn't do that. There's no way I. No, wait. Maybe just maybe I could. Master's password. Something she w wouldn't have tried. Something she doesn't want to try. Like. Oh, your name. What? I'm talking about the password. I thought that maybe. As I thought, she hasn't tried it, but that's not surprising. Going by her personality, the way it, the, and the way she spoke about her father, there's no way she'd try her own na name for her. It's password. Hey, just cover all bases. Is it alright if I try that? You don't need my permission. There's something you want to try. Help yourself. I'm not stopping you. Alright, I'm gonna get this shit on the first try. Watch this. I may have said I would try Kira's name, but if I if it turns out I'm wrong, I could end up hurting her. You don't need to worry about me, Nagi. I already know you're wrong. Right. And here goes nothing. Pull myself back together, then turn toward the monitor. I'll just put the password here. Yoko Kiyuri. I shook slightly as I pressed the keys and I hit the final button. Uh. Uh. Dun dun dun. Huh? It opened. It opened, Gary. Look, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what? Nothing, really? Why? Gary. A stern look on her face. She disappeared in the hidden room, and I glanced in my direction. Gary. What the freaking? I guess I'll look at my. Uh, what else is here? All right, what do we have going on here? Hey! There's a present. Hey, Kiguri, she didn't so much as glance in my direction. Her eyes are fixed on a single object. Oh, that picture back there? Oh no, is it a picture of the dad and her? Or, or the or, or the giant birthday gift, or whatever it is. The gift box was bright and cheerful. For that reason, that much more unusual. Wait, I want to look at this. That aside, ah, oh, fine, whatever. It's cheerfully arrived to Gibbs Box is eerily out of place in this otherwise Spartan room. The more I look at it, the more off it feels. Is, is it safe to open it? I kinda got a bad feeling about it. It's not like I can just not open it. Alright, here it goes. Don't let your guard down, Mike. So it really is dangerous. I don't think you're in any danger per se. I just think you're you'll be a bit surprised. Huh? My suspicions are correct. The contents of that box. Or at the very least, that's thing you derive pleasure from looking at. Hey, uh, what are you hitting at? Try not to scream. Oh, crap. What, is it going to be like a body part or something? So, something might make me scream. How scream, right? reassuring. Alright, here we go! Ah, ah. March over to the table with the box sitting on it and whisper to myself, You got this. Place my hand on the lid. I slowly, cautiously, I lifted it up. The, the room's light began to spill into the box. I took a peek inside. Uh, ah! Please ignoring Kigari's warning, I still had a shrill cry. Yeah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, it's just bones. <laughs> oh, hey, Agent Scully, how you doing, buddy? Bones inside the box. There were human bones. If I hadn't even crossed my mind that this might be the what was hidden beneath the cheerful wrapping. Of course, it hadn't. It, who could have predicted? Except Kiyagiri. Just a thought. What? What? Jeez, you thought I could even guess? I mean, there's no. There's a, there's a human skeleton in there. Can you actually expect there'd be a skeleton? It's just a dead body. It's all the same. There is a dead body. My father. Huh? What about him? The contents of that box. That skeleton. That corpse. Belongs to my to my father. What? Oh shit! Oh, totally rocked his ass, bitch. Oh my god, dude, they like, oh, they like cleaned him good. Like, uh, it was not even me. It's just nothing but bone left. Ew. That is his final resting place. Wait, that that is Kiguri's dad, the very same dad she came looking here for? You were looking for? <laughs> you're I mean, you're you seem oddly calm about it. Hold on a second, how do you know? How do you know it's that that's your dad? 
Taking into consideration all the information we've gathered up to this point, it couldn't be anyone else's. It's made of plastic. Hey, sure, there's a high probability the headmaster is the puppet master. Also, headmaster is a man who's like 30s. It's like he's inside the academy. Oh, oh, actually, while we're at it, I'll give you one more hint. I mentioned this before, but there are tons of senior participants, all of whom are students in this academic coliseum. So this coliseum commences the operation of the only students to sit by the academy are those very same 16 students. I see, okay. It's like the headmaster is inside the school, however. however the only living humans to set foot in this academy are us 16 students. Put two and two together. And it's highly likely my father is inside the academy, dead. It adds up. Gigeri maintained her calm and composure as she made her analysis. Well, that wasn't exactly right. Rather, she was clearly feigning her calm and composure. She may have said just as I thought this, and I suspected that. But somewhere inside, she was hoping she could be wrong. After all, she never once even tried to look inside. From the beginning, she said she came to meet her dad so she could clear the books on their past. The Kirigiri I know wouldn't. I trampled on that pride. I sold myself to the Community Academy faculty, so I was selected for submission. Knowing full well that my actions were unworthy of a fa Kirigiri family detective. The Kirigiri I know would sacrifice her pride for something just so superficial. I couldn't help but think that. Oh my god. Okay, well, now can we look at the picture? There's a picture here. Oh, I knew it. Oh, look. Look at Kigiri! I guess that must be Daddy there. It's pretty faded, so I'm guessing it's fairly old. I wonder if this picture of. Hey, Kigiri! Look! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Why do you always have to make things so difficult? He came all this way to clear the books in our past, and yet... And yet! You go and show me something like this, after all this time? What? What do you want from me? So I was right. This picture of Kigiri as a child. The fact that she's always held on to it, it always, means the headmaster must have never stopped thinking about her, or that he always held on to it. Why? Just... Why? I came all this way so I could put it clo close to our past. So I cut you out of my life for good. It's like you just, like you discarded me from yours. But you've gone and disappeared again. And you've stolen away my only chance to forget. You really are a despicable father. Hey, Gary. Aww. What do we got here? Hitmaster's desk. It seems like, it seems like, like a place I could find valuable information if I got get a closer look. But it's Gary's dad's desk, and I feel kind of. But you stop worrying about me and check it if you really want to. Are you sure? Do you do I have any right to interfere with your investigation? Alright. I reached the drawer from top to bottom and checked the, checked the contents as I went. Every single one of them was, was filled with work related papers and documents, except for the very bottom drawer. Hey, look at this. An electro ID. It says emergency use. Emergency use electro ID inside a desk in the hidden room in the headmaster's bedroom. It's a universal restriction-free letter ID, and since it's like a another master key. Ah, I'm gonna be able to use that to get into the lockers in the uh, locker room. So I suspect. It's about what I had in mind too. It could come in handy in your investigation. Why don't you hang on to it? But you I have no use for it. If you don't want it either, then just leave it there. In that case, I'll take it. Should I really be doing this? Yeah, why not? Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm. I have a favor to ask you. A favor? I know it's not my place to ask you this for you, of you. I know I'm only hindering your progress, but may I ask you to leave? Huh? I'd like to be alone for a bit. Just a moment is fine. Uh, Kigiri. You don't need to worry about me. I just want to collect myself. I just want some time to sort, of, to sort of through my feelings. Hey, uh, you know how before you told me about your relationship with your dad? You see, we're connected by blood, but not by heart, but, um... He made his work his life, taking comfort in that picture, thinking I made might one day come to see him. Is that what you think? Well, you're probably correct. It doesn't make things right. A single photograph doesn't change everything that happened leading up to this moment. It's not a problem with so simple a solution. Right, yeah. Sorry. I'll be back to the investigation as soon as I pull myself together. So just for a little bit, let me be alone. Yeah, sure. Well, see ya. <laughs> that was depressing. She really just left her there? She's gotta be in shock right now. I mean, even if I, I was off, way off guard. 
bones. I never expected to find the headmaster in that condition. So now in my mind that the puppmaster is responsible. Kill the headmaster, Kigger's father. I killed him. The headmaster's dead. We're all dead. Give me a the give me a computer, Mr. Academy Minister of Office for the project to isolate us here. And the head of that organization is the headmaster. In short, there's a high probability the headmaster is the pub master. Okay, late thirties is okay. Uh, my voice is got shot. He was wrong about the headmaster wasn't the pub master, which means the pub master's true identity. Oh, well, well, God, can I please stop bringing up this fucking it's one of the sixty students, blah 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 blah. We know. Fifteen of scattered and answer solo plus McCurry can stop made sixteen. Those original sixteen students, six me included, are still alive. Everyone else was murdered. Ah, oh, see, that's me. Oh no, that motorcycle. <laughs> and I lay slain by my own hand. Fakuri Kasaba. She was undoubtedly murdered. Where were I? You got me. Hot curry. Kawa. Sheena. And Kigir. Are only six people still alive and keep the community? That means. That means. No, that can't be right. I don't accept that. There has to be some other possibility. There just has to be. Alright, well, I think we're in here for now, guys. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now and hop away with you. Still, Pew. But the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.